Hi guys, how you doing? Just want to say Jesus loves you and I love you. So if you don't mind, let me clarify some things real quick. Uh, I posted a video not too long talking about how Muslims do not worship the same God as Christians and Jewish people do. I got a lot of flack. That's fine. I'm used to that. Uh, I just want to clarify why I said what I said. Okay, so you can argue with me all day. I will never change my point of view on this and I will continue to teach that this is a lie that they tell you. Okay, and I'm not saying Muslims. I'm saying the the original people who created Islam have lied to you and you are deceived. Allow me to and allow me to show you why I think that. Okay, the timeline goes like this: God started a religion uh, or a relationship with his people, the Israelites. Okay. We see this throughout the entire First uh, Testament where, you know, I mean, if you've ever read the First Testament, you'll see God creating the, the First Covenant and yada yada. Okay, The First Covenant is the Jewish belief system. The Second Covenant is where God came down and said, you're doing it wrong. You're teaching the, the doctrines of men over the doctrines of God. Let me show you how to do it right. Uh, do it, do it like me, follow me, or you're not going to go to heaven. Okay. And he opened the door up to Gentiles as well. Okay. So that right there was it. God is perfect. He doesn't need a second, you know, I'm going to go down there and fix my first mistake. I didn't do it well enough the first time. No, you see the old Testament is the new Testament concealed the New Testament is the Old Testament revealed, okay? There was no need for anything more. God had already revealed the mysteries, so there was no more mysteries that needed to be revealed. When he said, I will send you a comforter, or I will send you someone to help you, you know, he was talking about the Holy Spirit. He wasn't talking about this angel that was sent to Muhammad, okay? The reason I said Muslims haven't uh, accepted Christ is because they haven't accepted him as God. And if you have not accepted him as God, made flesh, come to die for your sins and my sins, then you have not accepted him. I don't care if you trust that he was a great prophet. I don't care if you think that he was a way to heaven. I don't care what your belief systems are. I have no need to respect your beliefs. I respect you as a person and I love you as a person. And that is why I tell you your beliefs are wrong. They go against the original gospel. And as Peter said, no, as Paul said, my bad. If anyone, be it apostle or angel, come to you and preach a dis different gospel, let him be accursed. And then he repeated it by saying, I repeat, if anyone from the heavens or earth come to you and preach a different gospel, let him be accursed. That means that this angel that Muhammad had seen was not of divine nature. It was a fallen angel come as an angel of light. Jesus even talked about this. Okay. He talked about it. He said, there will be an angel. Uh, Lucifer will come as an angel of light to deceive if possible, even the elect. Okay. So don't be fooled. Now, why do I say that they don't worship the same God? If they believe wholeheartedly that they worship the same God, they just don't accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior. They have their own Lord and Savior. The uh, the Mahdi or the Mahdi, I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't speak Aramaic. Uh, this is why, okay? And the best way I can put it is in an analogy, something that a lot of you may be able to understand a little easier. If the Joker or even I, dressed up as Batman. Am I Batman? I'm going around screaming, I'm Batman. It doesn't work like that. I'm not Batman. I'm not super rich. And I 
don't know karate or whatever the hell he knows. I'm not Batman. So I can dress up and pretend to be Batman and claim the name of Batman all I want. I'm a liar and a deceiver if I do this. See, that's what Satan has done. He dressed up in such a, a manner that it was so believable to people who do not have discernment through Jesus Christ because they have not accepted him as their Lord and Savior. So when Satan came as an angel of light, they had no idea how to discern between the two. I'm not saying this out of hate. I'm saying this out of love. I love you, therefore I tell you the truth. If I didn't love you, I would lie and say, yeah, sure, Jesus was just a great prophet. That'll get you into heaven. It's the same thing as if I go off and tell all these Christians who swear that they're saved. That you're saved because you, you've accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior. Go out and smoke weed. You're saved. You accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Go get bent and have sex with as many women as you want because Jesus will forgive you. You accepted him as your Lord and Savior, right? No. Absolutely not. If you don't follow the law, and you don't rely on Jesus Christ to help you follow the law. I'm not saying you've got to be perfect. You can't be. You're not Jesus. But you give your life to Jesus Christ. You give your life to Yeshua, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, and he will make you perfect, even when you're imperfect. But you have to be wanting to be perfect for him. There has to be a drive in you to do the best you can for your Lord and Savior because he did the best he could for you and it was perfect. Okay? I love you guys. I I know I'm not perfect. I could bring out a bunch of scripture. I can bring out yada yada, but I'm not perfect. I'm not Jesus. I cannot convince you. All I can do is plant the seed and hope that Yeshua allows it to grow. Okay, so take a minute, do some research. If you if you hate me so much, do your research, read the Bible and then read the Quran and then tell me what you believe. OK, that's that works for me. Doesn't bother me a bit. I'm not going to sit here and argue with a bunch of people anymore. I care for your souls and that's why I, I do my best. But I'm here to drop facts. OK, so if you don't like it, don't follow me. But if you're curious, if you really, truly want salvation, if you want to be forgiven for the horrible things you've done, even if you don't think you've done horrible things, if you want to be forgiven for the small things you've done, the only way Jesus Christ said it best None can get to the Father except through Him. It's not your works that save you. So don't think that's what I'm telling you. Okay? It's Jesus Christ that saves you. But faith without works is dead. And if you don't believe me, you read that in John. 1 John. I think it's 1 John. It's, it's in the New Testament. I ain't read the New Testament. I'm on the Old Testament right now. Um, well, I haven't read it recently. I've read it twice. Don't go off on me and be like, oh, you haven't read it. I have. I'm just focused on the Old Testament trying to learn the law. It's because I was one of the Christians who believed that if I just read the New Testament and accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, I can do whatever I want. It wasn't that long ago I was smoking cigarettes. It wasn't that long ago I was smoking weed. It's when I learned that faith without works is dead that I started to change my life, started to give my life to Christ because I knew in my heart that I was still living a sinful life, being greedy and gluttonous and, and self-centered. And if you're living your life for you, going out hitting the club, going out you know, with on, on Tinder, swiping left and swiping right on Tinder, you ain't doing nothing for Christ. Tinder ain't for Christ. You ain't going to find Jesus on Tinder, bro. 
You ain't going to find Jesus in the club. You ain't going to find Jesus nowhere outside of the church. I, I'm, I'm telling you. And don't be... I'm not going to go into which church to go to on this video. We'll talk about that later. But I'm going to tell you, follow the word. Follow what Jesus taught. And if it change, if there's any church that you go to that doesn't follow what Jesus taught directly, don't go to that church. That's not the church. We'll get more into that later. This was that video about the, the Muslims not worshiping the same God was not to drop hate. That was to drop clarification. I see that it didn't do that. I hope that this cleared some things up. If not, drop some genuine curiosity comments and I will, I will respond the best way I can. If you drop hate comments, I'm just going to ignore you because I ain't got time for that. I'm living my best life. All right. I love you guys and I pray for you and I hope that you pray for me. All right. Have a good one.